Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. So you probably have seen the Helk shared video about electricity coming to Rust, hopefully soon. And I got really excited, so I jumped onto my staging branch server and started messing around. And I kind of want to give you the current state of it, of what is in the game at the moment, and what is working, and how to use it. So, so let's start with the thing that gives electricity. We got the generator here, and this is a small generator, so that gives me the impression there's going to be a big generator too. And this generator, if I take out the wiring tool it shows me that I got three um, power outputs and if I right click on it with the wiring tool selected I can also see that I got the three outputs I can select here and I can also clear all the connections and it tells me that the pass through is 10 and I will explain that in a little bit so um, then we got a few switches and a splitter and stuff and I will show you we got the uh, pressure pad if I stand on it it will allow electricity through and when I step off it will stop the electricity first switch we got the basically normal switch press E to turn it on press E to turn it off then we got the OR switch and um, this will allow you to hook up two power sources and if either of them is giving electricity this will turn on then we got the end switch and this also allows you to hook up two sources and they both need to be giving electricity for this to be turned on and when something is turned on it will pass electricity through it and then we got the timer and if you give it electricity you can turn on the lever if the timer will go and when it uh, goes the electricity will go off so it will only be on for a little bit then we got the splitter and if i right click uh, you can see that i got four outputs so i can hook up a power input and then control four things or up to four things at the same time by just one switch which really open up the possibilities because one of them could be direct some of them could be and or ors so there could be several switches or things that need to be turned on they could be timer switches so this makes it really intricate um, but there is a little bit of a limitation to it uh, with the pass through but i'll show that once again in a little bit and then lastly we got the door controller and if you put that next to a door as soon as it gets power the door will open and when the door when the door is fully opened if it then gets the power off signal it will close the door also if that power off um, signal or the electricity gets switched off before the door is fully opened it will just stay open and it will not close because it basically didn't get the close signal at the time that it could immediately execute it if that makes sense so that's all the options we have Shh. that's all the options we have um, I'll show you the basic uses of it right now so I'm going to put a generator next to this door and there is a limit of I think six blocks that this electricity will work right now but you can uh, put a splitter in between to extend your range, range. Um, but I'll show you so I got my generator and I will put a door switch right here when I take out my wire tool and go to one of the three outputs select it then go to the door tool and right click on it and say power in this now give elect gives electricity constantly to it, so it will just open up the door. Um, it will not reopen the door when I close it, but what does happen if I clear it, then it basically sends the closed door signal. So that's not really helpful, or at least it could be, but I don't think so. So we're going to take a normal switch, and we're going to put that in between. So I'm going to take my output one, to the switch and I say electric input yes so this now has power as you can see I can turn it on and off if I then wire that one through the output to the input of that one you can see with the wires it's connected and when I flip the switch it goes open and it closes if I turn it off too quick it doesn't really send the signal to close it so I need to do it again so basically on is open off is close and the signal needs to be at the right time okay I'm not gonna keep repeating myself so what other options do we have okay so next up I got the OR switch and I can hook up two power outputs to this so I could do power output one and if I give it to power up input one it will be green so now when I hook this up the same as before if I now flip the switch it will work because this one will allow you to put two powers so now I'm using a and B from the generator that's not really a, a good example but just to show you but you only need one of them to uh, for it to work that's why it's called the OR switch so 
if I clear this and I take the end switch, if I give that, give that only one, it will be green. But when I put the output to the other one, you will see that it doesn't work because it needs end A and B. So now if I put the second one in there to B, you can see that both of them are green. The switch is working because it's hooked up to the door. So you need two power outputs for that one. Oh, I was too quick. So that is the end switch. And if I clear that, then clear this one. We're going to take the timer. Once again, give it electricity to the input. Put the output to the switch. And now if I activate this, this will have power for that time that this goes. So when this finishes the timer, this will stop having power. As you can see, so in that timer, I can open and close the door. But when the timer ends, I use that I lose that ability. Pretty self-explanatory. Then let's clear that. We got a splitter, and this allows me to put power into here. And then I have four outputs I can then give power to so for example use the first one give it power and this now works but I could also for example have a second door and I take the output to the power in I make my switch the main input so now when I open this this has power and I route my outputs to the doors I can now control two doors with one switch and if I clear this and I take a pressure pad and I link the uh, pressure pad output to the gearbox and I give the pressure pad electricity oh then if I stand on the pad it will control two doors so that's basically all the um, options you have or all the basic functions of these switches so there's one more thing you need to um, keep in mind is that pass through and I'll explain that here splitter and I'm going to put down a normal switch if you see here you see that it says pass through is 10 if I take that output and I put it to my switch it says here output or pass through zero when I turn it on it says nine and if I put another switch next to it you probably ex already know what's going to happen. If I turn it on, it says 8. So I can make 8 steps um, after this. And after that, it will, ta it will not get power anymore. So to demonstrate. So when I hook up this splitter in between. You can see here, pass through 10 to the splitter. Only pass through 2. So just by, even if I don't use them, I will lose that power. So you can see here, pass through one, pass through zero, and that why, that's why this one doesn't work because there's no more electricity. So there is a limit to it. There is also a range limit to it. So I've got this generator here, which is on the back uh, block, and it's six is the limit. So if I take this output and I run all the back here, which is six blocks out, this won't work. I can plug it in, but nothing happens, and it's not plugged in actually. But if I go five out and plug in a splitter I can then take that output and put it into here and then it will work so just some info that I've been messing around with there doesn't seem to be any limit to 
how many generators you can use they all have pass through so they should all give power the normal uh, rugs work really well to high the pressure plates and they do still work and if you place your circuits really low the bare rocks work really well to hide that also but yeah you can still see the wires I don't know if that's a temporary thing or if that's a uh, thing you can turn off I don't know but you can hide it this way so this might still change but currently it seems like you can go through ceilings and you can also go through closed doors Like I said, this might still change. So there doesn't seem to be any new connection with any of the old turrets or SAM side or anything. Um, it seems like the only thing you can now control is the doors with the door controller and lights. Um, also the automatic door thing is n placeable. Why did it work earlier? <laughs> okay, can I wire this? Well, you can place it now, but you can't. You can't wire it, can I? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I can pick it up. Okay, it's a code lock, really high, really weird. Okay, so it doesn't seem to work with the electricity yet. You can apparently place it. Um, also, the wind turbine isn't placeable. I'm, I'm really, really, really liking this, and um, I haven't really messed around with it to try to. Oh to try to make some really intricate things and trap bases like because I think for like one-way doors or trap things and I really hope they give us more to control than just lights and doors even though this is already really really cool already and I really like how they are trying to implement implement it and just keep going so also with the possibilities of more switches and stuff like that this this could be really really a game changer and really give your base like an automated feel which is really cool so i will definitely be thinking around with this more but i just wanted to get the basics out as soon as possible i hope you enjoyed this if something is unclear if i didn't explain something properly please leave me a question below and i might make a follow-up video if it's unclear as schnitzel so as always thank you for watching i'm out peace yeah i shouldn't shouldn't record this late anymore <laughs> at least i should maybe do like a sound snippet i'll have a sound snippet in the end in the outro of the ahua well doesn't matter thanks